Welcome to Through the Lens, Coppola's first ever photography TV show right here on Coppola TV. I am your host, Monze Mwinga, best known as Double O. On this show, we look at photography from all angles possible. Everyone can be a possible photographer, viewing it as an art that anyone can master. On today's episode, we feature a local novice photographer from right here within Kitwe, who has a little bit to display. Catch me on the flip side as we profile him. My full name is uh, Victor Vrici Sakala. My friends call me Victor Vrici. I'm from Eastern. I'm Mungoni by tribe. Well, I started photography in 2017, uh, like in November, if I'm not mistaken, when I just graduated from school. You know, I've always had this passion of doing photography because I really want to bring art into reality. One thing that has really, really made me to love photography or be interested in photography is I always want to be the man behind the camera. I want to be the man to capture all the special moments and all those memorable events, so to say. My main uh, focus in photography is uh, fashion, beauty, and portrait photography. I love taking portraits. Yeah. Why I started focusing on portrait photography or beauty photography is because I looked at some models and the kind of skin texture which they have. You know, it's very, very difficult for you to do a portrait when you're shooting events, photography like weddings, kitchen parties, or chilanga or what's or not. It's very, very hard for you to take portraits and what's or not. But if you focus on beauty, photography, and fashion photography, never go wrong. That's where you, know, you can get the best of the best portrait shots. The best photo that I've ever taken is uh, of this model. Her name is Prudence. We actually took it in CBU near the bushes like that like it was like a traditional shoot that's the best best uh portraits or whatever you can call it photography i did yeah that's the best my worst i can say is when i really started doing photography that's when i used to take like worst worst photos which you can't even look at them right now like they are really really bad okay i don't really really look down on myself because that's when i was that's when I was learning how to you know, do photography and everything. And nobody taught me photography. I actually started watching tutorial videos on YouTube. That's how I developed that interest of you know, knowing everything about Photoshop, Lightroom, and more about the camera settings. So that's a bit on Victor Virgi. Quite the photographer, I must say. Photographing people isn't really an easy task, considering the different skin tones and colors but he goes around it with much ease. I must give it to him. However, let's get back to his profile and see what more he has to offer. We are also going to preview some of his best shots. Photography is my full-time job. Photography is my life. Well, like every road that leads to success in life has always had its challenges. Yeah, it hasn't really been an easy journey for me. I've always had challenges in my life since I started doing photography. One, I never had lighting equipment. Two, I never had proper cameras. And three, transportation has always been a challenge. You know, maybe when you're caught to go and do maybe a function in another town. You don't have transportation. That's another challenge that I can see, which I really, really faced when I started doing photography. And another thing is, uh, considering the poor lightings, you will be caught for some big events, you don't have lighting. That's another challenge. You have to borrow from your friend, and you know, it's not every time that your friend is going to give you the kind of uh, equipment to use, because maybe even him is using that. Yeah, and I, what I see myself in the future is, uh, I think photography is my life, and I dedicate my whole life to photography. So probably I'll do, or I will, I'll work hard for me to reach where I want to be. Like, in five years' time, I'm see myself driving, owning my, my own house, you know, traveling to another country for photography. And I think I want to go to China for a photography yeah, college. I want to do photography as, as, as a school. Yeah. I want to learn more about photography. But right now, I've got three cameras. I've got Canon 1100D. I've got a Canon T2i, that's like, that's 550D, 
and I've got an ATD Canon which I'm using right now. The reason why I like Canon ATD because it's got uh, quite a number of specs. It's a uh, 24.2 megapixels and it, quite alright it's a cropped but it's, uh, it's stable. It's got uh, multiple function points, focusing points so to say sorry. Yeah, and it's 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 what it's good in videos. Yeah, it's good in videos and it's, it's got a uh, higher aperture priority. Yeah. My dream machine is a Canon uh, 5D Mark IV. Oh, one is it one DX? I don't know. The, the new Canon camera is the one that I really really want to get when I have a lot of money because you know like I can do anything with that camera. Actually. I can do a lot of things with that camera. I can do videos. I can do pictures. I can do whatever I want with that camera because it's big. It's got a number of specs and yeah, that's what to say. You know, it was like this. I was I was shooting a fashion shoot by Shibon Hotel in Kito, Parklands, and then I was called to go and shoot another dinner party. It was a birthday dinner party. So I went there, and everything just went perfectly well. And then we got back from. Uh, shooting the dinner party, so I had to back up the, the data which I had in the memory card. To my surprise, uh, the memory card just stopped responding, and I never backed. Uh, I never finished backing up the pictures for, for the birthday dinner. And then the following morning, I was supposed to, um, I was supposed to hand in the, the photos to the client. And then what happened was I started explaining to the client what really happened. And you know, when clients have paid, they can't agree when you say this happened and this happened. You know, they just want their thing, they want, it, it, they want money or they want pictures. So it was really a challenge to me, like, which really, really happened in a bad way. I was really, really, really uh, prepared for it to happen and I, was really, I wasn't even sure it was going to happen. So that's one challenge, which, like, which, which that's my worst experience in life, in photography, so to say. Wow. Amazing portraits and stunning pictures right there. I must say, the people too, were stunning. Now we're on our gadget section. On this section, we get to look at a variety of gadgets that you would use for your photography. And on today's section, we get to feature the Canon 80D, something that our guest photography is using right now. Let's check this out. Amazing machine, I must say there. I think I should get myself an ATD, considering. So now we get to test our photographer and see how he views an image that was taken randomly. Could have been by me. So I asked him what ISO it was taken at, what shutter speed, and what aperture the, the photo could have possibly had. Let's see what he had to say. So I think from my own observation, uh, this, this, this photo was taken in the morning and uh, the, shutter, the shutter speed was at 200 then the f-stop was at 2.8 then, then the ISO was at 100 yeah well if I was to improve this photo and make it pop a little bit I would, act, I would actually increase the, the ISO up to 200 and then like I would bring down the shutter speed to like 125 yeah that's what I would do yeah, the aperture would really bring it like to uh, 125. Yeah. Right, that was through his lens. Well, we all have different perspectives of 
what the lens gets to provide. Now, we provide a platform for you as well at home to share your pictures. Could have been taken from a phone or from a digital camera. Send them through onto this WhatsApp line. Otherwise, you can like our Facebook page that is Coppola TV on Facebook, at Coppola on Twitter, and Coppola TV on Instagram. I have been your host, Double O. Catch me next time, same place and same time. It's through the lens.